Welcome to the Progress Kendo UI Builder 2.0 demo series. I'm Shelley Chase, your host and software fellow at Progress. In this series, we will demonstrate how to use the basic capabilities of Kendo UI Builder. This includes creating a data object service, building editable grids, using custom templates, working with foreign keys, parent-child views, and working with charts. Each video is about 10 minutes long and can be watched individually or as a series. Let's get started. In this session, you will see how to use the custom template features of Kendo UI components to affect the look and feel of the data displayed. First, we will customize the look and feel of a data grid predefined view by adding an image to each row. Next, we will display inventory items in a list view on a blank view by displaying the list of inventory items, pictures, and price data as an overlay. In the tutorial, Creating an Editable Grid, I created a module and a view for you. That module is called Module 1. Let's edit that module. We can see that from the previous tutorial, we created a view called Grid. We are going to create a couple of more views. Let's create a customer grid by clicking on the Add View button. Let's give this a name of Customers and a label of Customers. We're going to pick the Data Grid template and click Add View. That creates us a default grid. We will select our data source of Customer Orders, TT Customer, which will set the columns in our grid to the columns that are in the data source. What we want to do here is instead of showing customer number, I would like to show an image of the customer. So we're going to change the template for this particular column. We do that by going into the grid columns property and click edit. Now you can see you can pick any of the columns that were included in the grid. We want to edit the customer number. And what we want to do is give a template for that customer number to say, rather than display the number, let's display the image. I have what that code looks like, and that is actually um, part of an HTML file. So we are going to say, for this section of customer number, let's get an image where the name of it is the customer number.jpg. Otherwise, we're going to display this unknown.jpg, which will just be a generic image um, of a person. So we're going to copy that code, and we're going to paste it into our template. So this is our column template, which says, again, I want to have an image displayed in this column rather than just a number. So let's save that. You can see in the designer, it shows us where a picture will go, but it doesn't have the pictures to show us at this time. Let's save and generate and preview our application. And as our app comes up, we're going to see our module one. Let's click on that. And we now have two views, the grid that we created in the editable grid tutorial and now the customer's view. And as you can see, we get both the customer number and the customer picture. And when we go to a customer which doesn't have a picture, like number customer number 12 or 13, we get that unknown JPEG that I showed you in the HTML code. So now let's look at how we could customize the entire look and feel of a list. Now let's create another view. We're going to call this view our inventory view. And this time we're going to select the blank template. So let's add that view. This looks a little bit different because we're not using a predefined view. We have to define all of the responsive behavior ourselves. So by default, we get a single row with two columns. We're just going to use one column, so we're going to delete one of the columns and then change the width of the column to be 12 because we're working in Bootstrap, which is, a, um, which is units divided by 12. So we're going to do that so we have the entire um, width of the view. 
We're going to drop a list view component so that we can see pictures of the items. And we're going to define what our data source is. So for, our, uh, for this inventory view, we are going to do items table. So our items data source. And that's our demo provider and our item data source table. Um, page size is OK. So now let's say save. So there's a couple of things we need to do here. One is we need to change the selection type to single. Two is we need to select the correct model for the list view. So we're going to um, pick the model that matches the data source that we've picked, the items DS model. And finally, we want to format how those items are going to look on the screen. Because we want to show them as pictures, and we want to do a little bit of of um, special behavior. So what we need to do is create a template and then use that template in our view. So here we're going to say we are going to use item template and we're going to save that. Now if you want to look at where I got the source of this code for, you can look at the demos for Kendo UI. There's about 75 demos available. And each of the components has demos associated with it. So for the list view, which is what we're looking at, I use this demo as my inspiration. And you can see um, these show pictures of each of the items here. And then as you hover over it, you get the price of the item. And I thought that looked um, something I wanted to to have in my own application. So if you scroll down, you always uh, get to see all of the code that produces um, this demo. So that's exactly what I used. If we go into, um, into our uh, code editor, I went and copied that code and changed it to match my instance. So for one thing, I needed to define uh, a name that I was using within my uh, view. I used item template. And then I needed to change it to, be my, to match my schema. So in our schema, we have something called item number, for example. And that's what we're going to use to find the picture to use for the item. So where we need to put this code is in our application source code, our generated code. So we have two directories when we start. A Kendo UI Builder web app, we have app and we have meta. Meta is available only for generated code, so metadata should not be touched. And app is where you can touch code. There is also some generated files that um, should not be touched. So let's go into our source folder under our app folder. We find our module, module 1. I need to refresh my view so that I can see the inventory show up in my list. And so for this inventory view, the files that we can edit is controller public JS, which has some default um, entry points for us, and top section.html, which is where we're going to put our template. So this code that we showed here, we're going to copy into our top section file. And as I said, we change some of the information like the name of the template. So let's save this, go to our Kendo UI Builder, and generate, and preview. So in our module one, we now have our view. And as you can see, the view has the pictures, just like I had wanted it to do. It's showing that it has 55 items in the database, so there's three pages. And as you see, that code does as I hover over, it shows the item price. So this is just like the sample that we saw for uh, the Kendo UI list view control. So that's all there is for using custom templates within Kendo UI Builder. For more Kendo UI Builder tutorials, please visit the Kendo UI Builder webpage. Thank you for viewing. Here are additional Kendo UI Builder 2.0 resources for you to explore.